Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to the Six Figure Trainer Podcast. Today's topic is why you need a real marketing funnel inside of your business. So I'm going to talk about a couple of different things here in today's episode. I want to make sure you have a pen, piece of paper, because some of the stuff that I talk about is really going to make a difference in your business, not just now, but in the long term. All right. So let me tell you first what most coaches do in this industry. Most coaches just kind of scrounge around. All right. And what I mean by that is like they might have a couple of leads come in through Instagram. They might have a couple of leads come in through coach up, might have a few people come to their website, might get a couple of referrals, but there isn't any sort of uniform system in place once a lead comes in. So what I like to explain to everyone that I ever get to the opportunity to speak with that's a trainer it's like we want to have an entry point that everybody comes through no matter where they're coming in from this way you know what to do right when someone raises their hand they say hey we're interested in working with you all right so got to have an easy entry point what i recommend doing is like we should have some sort of automation set up so when someone texts you or they email you anything that happens it's like the first thing that should happen, in my opinion, is we need to drive them to a quick phone call so you can better understand their situation. Again, most coaches don't even do that. They just like text back and forth questions, email back and forth. That stuff takes months to figure out to close someone. Um, so first action item is like when someone comes into the funnel, some sort of automation that's happening to get them onto a phone call. That phone call should not be some random call. That should be a scheduled call where you can diagnose the situation and figure out how to help and if you can help, all right? That's like the first thing that should happen. After that, we wanna have an entry point into them experiencing how it is training with you. So that's where an eval session, that could be a paid thing, that could be a free thing. It's really up to you. Most coaches that I work with that we consult with their company right now, do a paid eval. They can run free eval promotions uh, when they market and promote their services, but most time people come to their main funnel, it's a paid evaluation. Now that's your opportunity to meet the kid, all right? Meet the parents, let them see how your training is. If your training is as good as what you think or what you tell everyone, all right? Ideally they end up joining your program. Now. It's not as simple as them just coming to your eval and then they just sign up. Like if someone's that hungry, yes, they will do that. But it's best before they even get to the eval, you have that that intro phone call. And on that intro phone call, you're giving them details about your program. Like what commitment are you looking for? Talk about the different investment options that you have. It's okay to give people those details before they show up to the session. And honestly, I think it's actually better because then you can weed out someone who's not serious. All right. So again, top of the funnel is entry point. Like they're, they're saying, Hey, we're interested. Tell us more about your program. That leads to like automation, hopefully leads to phone call. All right. Phone call. If they like what you're talking about, they want to come to an eval session, come to the eval. All right. After that, they become a client. After that though, we need to figure out how are we maximizing this client? All right. And I mean that in like a really good way, not like some weird sleazy way. <laughs> right. So how are we maximizing this client? That means like, how are we getting referrals from them on a monthly basis? Are we tracking the referrals? How many other opportunities are we selling to them outside of what they just bought? This way, the average customer that you work with, the price, the, the investment that they're giving you every year is going up versus just what you're selling them. And this is where I see a lot of coaches leave money on the table because they're not marketing back towards their current clients. Your current clients know, like, and trust you. They're willing to give you more money if you have more opportunities for them. And again, I see a lot of coaches that are leaving like at least 20 to 50 K per year on the table because they're afraid to do that. They think it's annoying. Uh, they think they're going to annoy their customers when they do that. Uh, but that should be part of your funnel. It's like, if you have these things organized, then you know what to do when someone comes in, you know what to do when someone becomes a client and you have those steps in place. If those steps are in order, the people that you speak with on the phone, the parents, they're going to feel like you're so organized and they're going to feel more confidence training with you than working with the other local trainer area that has no idea what they're doing. And I can tell you, 
your competition, if you're watching this video, they're either watching our videos or not. If they're not, they, they're probably years behind where you are with your education to run a business. And if you are more organized than they are, you're going to win over those clients that are searching online for a trainer. So hopefully this video helped. If you want more help with your business, go right below this video. You're going to see my phone number is right there. That's my cell phone. All you got to do is send me a text there. Uh, you'll see it in the description. Shoot me a text. I'd love to connect with you. That will set up ideally like a 10 to 15 minute call with you. I can learn more about your business, see more like what you're doing, what you're up to, what you need help with. And if I feel like we're a good fit to help, I'll tell you what the next steps are on that call. That's it for the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're brand new and I can't wait to see you next time.